What's up guys, Tanner here from Atlanta United Fan TV. I am in a very special place right now on what seems to be a very special day for Atlanta United. We're gonna kick things off with LGP. Now apparently Boca Juniors made an official offer to Atlanta United for Leandro Gonzalez Perez. Now both me and Devin and pretty much everyone else find this pretty odd because, well, LGP is a born and bred River supporter. He grew up there, he came to the academy there, he played there. It's oil and water, those two don't mix. So I find it really interesting. Now, the only reason these rumors are coming up is because he's in the last year of his contract right now. And he's already on, what, 600,000 plus dollars a year, which is a lot. He's gonna be getting into TAM territory now. And right now we're kind of stretched on cash with how our team is set up. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get that man paid. I think he should get paid. I think everyone agrees he should be paid. I think he's the next captain of Atlanta United if Parkhurst retires after this season. He's a fantastic server and he's one of the best defenders in the league and it would be an absolute blow to lose him at this point with CONCACAF Champions League kicking off in less than a month. Hopefully, if he does move on, the club has a replacement already lined up. Now, moving on from LGP, an interesting little connection as to where I am right now. Florentine Pogba, brother of Paul Pogba, who hopefully I'll be watching play tonight, but not likely to be honest after he played on Friday against Arsenal and won. Looking at you, Devin. Anyway, Florentine Pogba was re most recently released by a League Two Turkish team that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. You can look it up. You'll understand why I'm not trying. Apparently, Atlanta have made an offer to him on a one-year deal. Now, what's interesting is that would take up an international slot, and we're kind of already full of international players, so who's making the move there? Is someone getting a green card? Where is that slot coming from? I find it very interesting and for a player who was recently released by a second division Turkish team, it makes things pretty interesting. He did have a long period of time at Saint Etienne in France, so he has played at the top level before, but is he Atlanta United caliber now? I, I really don't know. I mean, I'd be fine with it as long as it means Paul Pogba pops into town for a little bit, because if Paul Pogba shouts out Atlanta United or has anything Atlanta United on, well, he's already one of my favorite players. I'm wearing his shirt under all of this. It's just as cold here as it is in Atlanta. So the story will continue to develop, guys. Keep it with Atlanta and Fan TV because we will keep you up to date on everything that is happening. It looks like it's going to be a crazy final few days of the transfer window, at least as far as some of our players are concerned. Looks like Miggy's gone. Hopefully LGP stays. And Pogba. I mean, who knows? Interesting stuff ahead. Anyway, guys, this has been Tanner from Atlanta and Fan TV. I'm going to enjoy this game at the Theater of Dreams. It's a beautiful place, but I'm repping the A in Manchester, because of course I am, because we're champs. All right, guys, peace.